you know what? I'm going to take you off the helmet market for years if you don't have a crash. Mm. Because this, how these helmets last. If you buy a cheap helmet, I'll see you next year for a new one. I'll see you the year after for a new one. And my goodness, if you have a crash in between, hopefully I'll see you again. Because these work. They do the job. Take What's, mate? What's new today? Oh, mate. Hey, hey, how are we out there, by the way? Hey, I, um, I finally, finally got myself a new helmet. I got myself the new Showy Ride helmet. It's 1,550 grams. It's actually really lightweight. It's an AIM Plus um, carbon fibre construction. All the gear in there. I'm not going to run into all the helmets, but I only wear good helmets. Um, there's a toss-up between this one and the Arrow, which I couldn't get my head into the Arrow. I'll, I'll have a video of that up on, on my channel. Um, but uh, So I ended up getting this one. It's a double XL in the Showy. It's orange, because I'm orange. Um, but yeah, top quality, awesome helmet, I love the showies, uh, there they go, but I thought the old showy uh, XR 1100 that I've had for about 10 years now, it's time to go, it's buggered, the lining stuffed, the visor pivot broke the other day, um, it's got a couple of marks on it, um, you know, a good helmet, but you must replace your helmets every hopefully every five years but I've had this one for at least 10 years and it's been awesome this helmet when I bought it was about 700 bucks so that equates to about $70 a year to have the best protection on your head now what I mean by the best protection is the best comfort the best uh, shock absorption qualities the best visors they're 100% optically correct UVA and UVE protectant the best ventilation 70 bucks a year to have that on your head and if the worst does happen i know i've got quality on my head so what we're going to do we're going to do, do a couple of hits uh, i've got a couple of different hammers as we can use or what we call them over here is knockometers so i'll get out the first knockometer a couple of question mark some people are really confused sometimes the helmet just get dropped from the table to the <coughs> floor yep and then they oh we need to change helmet sometimes you do yeah if you've got your head in it yeah and see what a helmet does is it absorbs the shock it absorbs the intake uh the the uh the, the, the hit so the best thing for what a helmet does especially these aim plus advanced integrated matrix showies is they globalize the shock so if you were to hit here hit your head here all that pressure there on that little section spreads across the helmet so okay. what that does is fractures the piece of the helmet so that the the, the shock doesn't go through to your brain, well it limits it going through to your head, it takes it there and dissipates the, um, the energy across the helmet. So if you drop it off here under the concrete and it hits there, it can dissipate the energy through the helmet. So what it's going to do is basically weaken that part of the helmet. Hmm. So in a perfect world, if that happens, you get another helmet. The reason why, if you're riding down the road and you come off at speed and you hit there again, it's already taken some shock. So it's already fractured parts of the helmet. You might not even be able to see them, but it's already fractured parts of the helmet. So yeah, this that shock's going to go plastic through. plastic and that shock's, pretty good quality that plastic. Shocks, this isn't plastic at all. Yeah. No, this is advanced integrated matrix. Okay. Um, it's fiberglass, carbon, Kevlar, um, and with a resin. They're handmade, hand laid. Yeah. It's a forced resin through the helmet via a um, pressure, pressurized thing from mm. showy helmets. And um, some people are also doing the camera mounts on that they drill the hole into don't the drill a hole in your helmet ever and they've also put the some epoxy thing on this to make it level no. if they're gonna do just stick the stuff over yeah. here or just mount it properly around yeah. the side never drill your helmet never do anything to your helmet never put any resins on it don't paint them um, yeah that can affect it don't leave them sitting in the sun don't leave them sit on your bike in the sun that can affect it um, the difference between these helmets and a like a hundred dollar helmet, hundred and fifty dollar helmet, which is a um, a poly helmet, a basically it's a flash word for plastic, injection molded plastic, is your plastic. Uh, you look at any 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 plastic. See this bit of plastic. This is a a Bell Ray grease thing. You push on there, all that pressure from my finger goes in, in into the grease. So. If, Picture that being your brain, you get hit from the outside, blah, bang. Whereas if that was a, a fiberglass piece, uh, or a, a, the same stuff as a show, you'd hit there and it would spread across. 
so the shock wouldn't go through to your head. You get a plastic helmet, it can go in, it flexes in, pushes the pressure on your head, and pops out. You wouldn't even know that it's done. <clears throat> so what happens then, you can't see that the helmet's had any um, anything done to it, so essentially you go and reuse it again. Now the inside foam of the helmet is going to be compressed as well, so it's already take, taken a hit, but it's localised hit. All that pressure stays in that point. These guys, it, it spreads it out. And what I'm going to show you, I'm going to get the old knockometer out and we're going to give her a hit. And just to show you what happens. This hurts, by the way, because I've had this helmet for 10 <laughs> years and it's, yeah. it's seen a lot, of, um, a, lot, a lot of things. So basically, if you're going to hit, you probably hit through here. Oh. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> I don't really want to do this. I'm just going to give it a light hit just to show you what happens. So if you were to stack it, bang. That punch chips through there. You don't see much else. She's hit, she's hit in there. The pressure will come through in there. So, not too bad. It's had a hit, but... Yeah, who, who would know what else is wrong with it? So we'll, give it, we'll get a bigger hit. This big hooer. That's a couple of big hits. Uh, not, not, not a lot to the outside, but I'm damn sure that that would be affecting the um, the whole makeup of of, of the shell. Uh, I just sort of trying to throw stuff everywhere. So we've hit again. That's taken three pretty hefty hits, only only in the one spot. Paint starting to chip a little bit through there. Still pretty good. It's a bit hard to tell with them um, with yep. all that stuff there. So. Get a good visor. These are a shatterproof visor, so this shouldn't break. Look at that, a fair hit. You got a rock flies up at you. Look wow. At that. How good's that? That, that? that was a pretty big hit. You can see it's fractured the, the plastic a little yep. bit. It's going to walk over here. <laughs> see there? Look at that. And that was a fair hit. If I smacked you in there with that, yeah. you'd be. Mm. You wouldn't like me. You wouldn't come back. Um, so if you're riding along and something comes up, crack. That's the difference between a good visor and a crap visor. You're riding along, you're doing 100k an hour, big red-headed fella runs out with a big hammer. Perfect. Well, that is, that's yep. quality. That, yep. that, 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 that is quality. I might stick it on the ground because that's yeah. going to knock everything off the bench. Look at that, right there. She's taking a fair whack on the top of that. So that, I hit that there. You can see there's cracking around the side here. Up the top, she's fractured through there. That's what I mean by globalizing the, the impact. So it's hit here and it's taken the shock a uh, way bigger area. Way bigger area. It's a bit hard with nothing mm. to put it in, but um You see that second hit? Yeah. It was a lot more more of a like a it wasn't as loud, wasn't as hard because that's already fractured the helmet. <coughs> it's fractured the um the stuff in it there. So see what that's done with the paint on the um where I've stuck the GoPro mount. Mm. Basically, the, the, the shock has come up through here, cracked yeah. the paint that, that that was on, therefore taking it through. So, you can see that it's not, it's sort of starting to go. That's a fair whack on a hammer. Mm. What I'm trying to do here is show you where it's broken, where it actually takes the force of the helmet. Mm. If this was a polycarbonate plastic helmet, you wouldn't see anything. Yeah. The colours aren't really painted on a lot of those. They're in there in the plastic, um, and it just flexes in and out. Whereas this is taking the shock. It's breaking it all up. It's bloody it's really strong. cheap and shitty quality stuff. It won't break down straight away with the one hit. Yeah. You see that third hit? The helmet didn't move much because it's taken a lot of the the energy already has yes. been put in there. So now it's just it's it's yeah. starting to starting to um starting to lose its starting to lose that on there. Um, the first time she bounced up it took a lot of the 
a lot of the shock. Second time a bit, the third time it's, it was pretty doughy. So that's had three pretty big hits on it. So if you're going down the road, bang, crack, you yeah. know, you, you, you've got a bit there. That's starting to fall apart now. I'm going to have to destroy this, aren't I? <laughs> So there we go, she's pretty much knackered now. Now look, this isn't a brand new helmet guys, it's 10 years old. It should have been gotten rid of ages ago. You can feel that's really, really flat. But I reckon that visor, hitting that visor was awesome. Mm. Wow, what happened to that? So that's popped off the, um, that was broken anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's popped that out. The boys are still intact. That was a fair old whack. Mm. She scratched it up. So you know, if you got something, if you had your visor up, well, oh, have a look at that round here. From that hit on the top, it cracked the chin, the jaw piece. Yeah. See there? That's what I call globalizing. It's hit here. It's cracked it down through here. So that's yeah. taken the force. Yeah. If you guys do drilling your helmet, so that's what happened. Where you, wherever you're gonna drill a hole. It will crack straight away with the one hit. Oh mate, if you drill a hole, you've weakened the helmet. Yes. Now, now that there, this helmet, right now, that's starting to, look at that. Mm. She's starting to really some, flog out. Some riders, they drill a hole in the front. What will happen if they hit the front, they will break the chin straight away. You have a look at this, it's taking the absorption. This is just the line, I'll rip that out, because that's, um, that's buggered anyway. But the inside of this helmet, there's no head in it. Look at that, that's cracked. Oh, it's got the crack, yeah. That's cracked the top. Have a look in here. Look at that. Yep. She's taken the shock. Now if your noggin was in that, mm. you've got this softer piece on the crown of your head. That's cracked it. Yeah. They don't go all up anyway. No. So that's um that's pretty cool. So this is what Snell 2005 product date, none of them tell me. 0904, 22nd of 04. Yeah, so she's pretty old. Um, but that's taken a few really good hits on that. Mm. From the top we busted down down the bottom here. Smack the front. That's popped through. That's pushed that back. So you know, we all ride motorcycles. Um, if you're going to ride a motorcycle, if you think you're never ever going to crash, you're wrong. You want the best thing on your head when that happens. Mm. Uh, what I used to say to people, they say, "Oh, how much are your helmets? Oh, you know, they're 800 bucks." And they go, "Oh, that's a bit much." I say, "How much is a wheelchair?" And they go, "What do you mean?" I say, "Well, you might need one if you buy that cheap helmet." Mm. Uh, wheelchairs cost more than helmets. We don't want you using the wheelchairs. We want you buying buying the good helmets. Um, it's a service to you. It's going to work. It's going to save your life. I've sold I sold showy helmets for years. I used to work for the importers in Australia, and um, we sold them all around the countryside, and we sold thousands and thousands of them. And um, I've seen people in accidents with them on, and I've had a lot of people say, "Man, I'm so glad I bought that showy." Uh, and uh, another thing, when the people go for shopping, they buy a shirt and t-shirt and the pants and yep. even the Nike shoes or whatever they want to wear. They never see the money, how much they're going to spend. They spend thousands of dollars just for t-shirts and the pants. When they come to the motorbike shop, they always say, oh, how much discount you go, Mike? Mike, is that right? <laughs> countless amount of times. I have seen people buy a new motorcycle, ten thousand dollars, five thousand. Learners come in, six and a half grand, gets them a bike, great new bike. Oh, I've got no money, and they buy the cheapest helmet. I say to man, don't buy the cheap helmet, buy a new one. Oh, you know, I can't afford it, and like that's fine. I un I, I do understand that, but I want you to keep riding. I want you to enjoy riding. That, that's that's really what it's all about. You know, we don't make thousands of dollars, millions of dollars out of this. We we do it because we love it. You get yourself a good helmet. You know what? I'm going to take you off the helmet market for years if you don't have a crash. Mm. Because this, these helmets last. 
if you buy a cheap helmet, I'll see you next year for a new one. I'll see you the year after for a new one. And my goodness, if you have a crash in between, hopefully I'll see you again. Because these work, they do the job. Yeah, the safety gears always work good. That's a fair whack, isn't it? Mm. Feel that's getting really. Yeah, she's bugging here. <laughs> she's all just turning into. That chin piece is all busted. <laughs> if that would be oh, a shit, cheap. Oh shit, this is the new one, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> if, that, if that would be a cheap helmet, it would be crack. Oh, look, the, the, the cheap the helmet, not necessarily the cheap helmets, the poly helmets. Yeah. Um, are made of just a plastic so you can't even break them you hit them a million times yeah the outer, outer shell still looks okay obviously a few scratches but the inner stuff this bit that absorbs all the shock yes is stuffed absolutely stuff look at these oh yeah one hit crack one hit crack but that's designed to take the shock after the helmet's been hit yeah it's designed to punch in from the outside punch in you know do all that mm. that's that's what that'll look like after it's had a crash be pushed in the outside could be like that the inside will be like that hopefully your head will be like that not like that <laughs> but yeah so you know that's also I'm gonna cut the straps off this because some homeless dude might grab it out and use it but so she's buggered mate Good helmet. That's the difference. I'm glad I didn't have that my head in it when all this happened to it, but mm. you see that now it's a bit doughy, it's all it's all taking all the force now. Mm. It's just like one of those plastic helmets, there's nothing. Now look at this jigger. Mm. He's fucking whoop. <laughs> swore down for that in. <laughs> He's gone. Look at this tin piece, look at that. Mm. Now that's what you want. Yeah. You want it to do that so you can sit there and look at it. If you have a helmet that doesn't do that, you won't be sitting there looking at it. Also good for street fighting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take the safety gear and hit the people. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, um, you probably get the gist of it all now. Uh, this is a smell approved helmet. Yeah. Um, like oh, some people are. Like uh, they're riding the motorbike in Asia, in South Asia, and uh, they are from overseas. They're not using the helmet system. Say, oh, the cop is all right. We don't need a helmet. You know, short ride, riding scooter without a helmet, and that would can be a dangerous. You know. Oh hey, what? They think nobody's saying anything. They can do whatever they're gonna do, but they are taking big risks with their life. Yeah. Look, if you don't care about your life, yeah, do what, do I what you want. like, mate. I can't tell yeah. you what to do. Don't care about the cop or anything. Just do a good safety with you, with your motorbike, with your life. The cop is, um, he's only going to book you because you're breaking the law. But the yeah. reason he's going to book you is because he knows you're going to, you yeah. don't have the best thing on your head. You have one thousand? I think so. Just trying to rip all this out of here. It's um, yeah, this is what's inside of it. Yeah, and my helmet, my that helmet, has crashed from the front. If I wouldn't wear that helmet, my face would be fucked from the front. You know? Oh yeah, yeah exactly right. I've seen people face plant. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to pull this out. Sure, yeah, it's gonna be. Not sure if I can get it out actually. It's pretty, um, now these helmets are all handmade, hand laid mm, in the factory. Expensive. They're really good. Yeah, the two liters is showy and arrow. Um, nah, I can't get her out. 
See, that's what happens to them. See, over the years, all that foam all goes in them. I should have got rid of this years ago, but I'm only a poor old Kawasaki dealer, mate. <laughs> we don't need any fucking money. I'm just gonna pop it out, I might break it, <coughs> but I'm gonna take it out because here we go, she's coming. I feel the liner coming, coming out of the hell. There you go. Here we go. Look at that. That's what I was talking about with the see how it's absorbed the impact of the the helmet coming in here. These are awesome. They all love these helmets. See all the the panels. They're all hand laid, yep. all in specific orders, pushed in and so on. Mm. And then they um, they put the resin in it, and it's a bag molded. The bag comes down. Yeah, blows out the pressure, yeah. pushes all the resin through your advanced integrated matrix, and um, that's what we got. So look, yeah, that outer shell. Now you saw how much I hit that. Mm. I hit that a lot, and if you were to paint all that up, yeah, you yeah. may not even notice. Can't it. notice yeah. Not not that you would, but that's taken the shock through the helmet. Yeah. And don't buy the painted helmet. Maybe oh. they would have a crack in it. Yeah, I'm not going to get into that. Yeah. But if you have a look under here, this is the bit that protects you. Oh yeah. See that there? That's she's she's pushed yeah, down. From here. Now if my head was inside of that, you can see that there. This is this goes in there like that. So that's a bit softer. Yeah. So you got hard, softer, softest. And that'll hit there, push that. It'll take the force into there as well. And hopefully by the time it gets to your head, it'll be minimised. Yes. Compared to if you had a plastic helmet with a single layer, a bit of foam in it, that mate, you don't get this quality in any any uh, cheap helmets. No way in the world. All handmade. It's all checked. 168 grams that that weighs. You can see the ventilation in there as well, with the channels through through the top to get the air in and out. Yep. So I don't know if I'm boring this whatever but that's it already that's where we're at and see the vent holes like that vent hole it's not just drilled in out here we'll, we'll stick a yes. vent on that's they molded everything like so that. the thickness is still still thick there yes. it just come comes in a bit comes in a bit even the foam here has got lowered pieces so that it doesn't all squash and so on so yeah that's it that's how we roll Goodbye, old XR1100. Mm. Hello, new Very show. Good work, mate. Mm. Mm. That's so good. this is the simple test. That's what we did. <laughs> you know, simple, simple test. test. What simple people? <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna just showing just crack. That's why it's a long video, and we just test this helmet all the way through. And he been using for ten years, long time, and you can see the quality of the stuff. Pretty good. And we're not doing that advertisement for the uh, company. That's nah. not paid. <laughs> but we just did the test, and uh, so there you go. The quality in that, you know. Yeah. It's all Very different good, materials mate. pieced together. You know, that's safety for you, man. Mm. Yeah. When they goes to the doctor, and they always say, "Doesn't matter for the money, mate." You know. Yeah. Give us a good medicine. Go to the dentist. Yeah. Get your teeth fixed. A thousand bucks just for yeah. going in the door. I'm not spending money on this. Not a helmet, mate. <laughs> Stick this in. Alrighty, guys. Enjoy. More than a bloody dentist will. But anyway. Yeah. Have fun. Have fun.